Hey guys, my name is Merciless and once again back with a new episode of Dungeons for Dummies where I limit myself to 300 champion points, have a beginner build and I run with a few people who don't have that much dungeon experience yet. Um, in this episode we are going through where rest sewers 1 and yeah, I would say let's roll out as usual. Again, anyone who needs the quest here or I'll be fine. Uh, we're f well, I'm fine. <laughs> I think everyone's done this one on Dungeon Dragon, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, yeah, it's. I say this in every video: stack them up, kill them. And um, this dungeon, one thing to mention, it's notorious for a multitude of different bugs. Um, for example, if you accidentally echo the crocodiles there in the river. Um, it can make you stuck in the dungeon. Sometimes there will be a door which doesn't open, I think. So if we aggro them, we need to make sure to kill them. There are a bunch of combat bugs where you can't um, enter a door for a long time. Um, so yeah, you're gonna be careful, especially if you have random people. Um, when you aggro something here, you wanna make sure to kill it. There's already the, the first boss slime crawl, and um, that's what the monster set in this dungeon is named after. It's just, he does like a bite, which is like a light attack or something. And other than that, he has a tail swipe, um, similar to Shatteran. So the tank can just block the tail swipe. Um, the rest of the team just stays out of the circle. Other than that, it's pretty much a target dummy. <laughs> As <laughs> usual, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that was a tail swipe. <laughs> <laughs> that was his most complicated mechanic, by the way. I didn't even notice it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yep, that's already the boss. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would like to explain more, but there really is no need to. <laughs> Anticlimactic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, there are a bunch of ads. I think you could technically just skip yeah, them, but for the sake of the video, so we have some content, this dungeon's very yeah. short. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> let's kill so them. Yeah. The content. <laughs> yeah, there will be more ad rolls later on when I get monetization. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after this, can we wait for a second? I need to change my skill. Yeah. Sure, sure. Oh, oh we have a death. Okay. Wow. I'm not sure what happened I mean, there. I mean, I you want just got a lot of aggro from the Oh. Okay. I'm gonna play the tank low key. There's <laughs> also a heavy sack, by the way. I mean, in no, the meantime, no. I can already explain the boss. Uh, the boss doesn't have too many mechanics. One thing we want to make sure here is a pattern, which we already saw at other bosses. We saw it at the last boss um, from the previous dungeon. We saw it at the last boss from Dan uh, Banished Cells. We saw it at the last boss of Spindle Sludge. We want to stay spread around the boss because once again, he has a mechanic where he throws something at one player. And again, you want to stay in different directions. So you notice, okay, he's looking at me. Now I need to dodge. I think this ability can also be blocked, um, so you can choose block or dodge, but if you don't do anything of both, um, you will be knocked back and it will also deal quite a lot of damage. Other than that, I think he has like an AOE attack which can be avoided and from time to time he will teleport through the room and I think after the teleport he will also summon some adds, so if the tank can grab the adds or position the boss near the adds would be nice. Um, Again, to the left we have a trash pack. Let's kill the trash pack for now. Um, if you do this with a random dungeon, um, with a random pack, you probably don't kill those ads. But again, when you have randoms, they will be running around like chickens. And there are the chances are high that you will echo those ads. And you don't really want them during the boss fight. So let's kill them right now. Um, yeah. Also, you can't taunt this boss. Uh, he isn't active yet, I think. It should be a, yeah, I think he just isn't in range yet, so he will I only be a... Because I've done it on normal, and it just says he's likely to resist the effect. Oh, okay. But he it should be tauntable, I think. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe it Yeah, then just give me an update when we actually fight him. And <laughs> well, but yeah, usually the tank um, tanks him. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just see. You should be able to taunt him, I think. 
He has a little bit of will of his own, as I said, with the teleports. And. Um, I mean, I've taunted him, he's just not. A <laughs> okay. He just doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, I what do you mean with you can't taunt him? You can't move him, or you can. No, like, I, he's taunting me right now, this whole time. Like, oh. For me, on, under his health bar, he has a taunt. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see any everyone else's taunts. I can only see everyone else's taunts. I only see my own debuffs. Oh, there I forgot to blo uh, block. Pardon? Um, by the way, yeah, this is the AoE I mentioned. Um, it needs to be kited, so you want to run... It's with target one player, and the player has to just kite it outside the group, so like make a little circle or something around the group, basically. Yeah, but it doesn't deal a lot of damage. Just make sure you don't run into other people while it's targeting you. Yeah, he's been taunted on me this whole fight. It's just not. Yeah. He just prefers the DPS, oh, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, as I said, this guy can't be moved that easily. Um, he's teleporting and stuff. He stays mostly in his position. Um, and he has also the targeted throw at one player, which I think Lacera just took there. Um, so yeah. it can't be taunted in this sense, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've tried using all three of my taunts. Not like I don't think he actually attacked me in that fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be like built for being attacked. Yeah, he, was, he was taunted the whole time. Okay, so apparently you can taunt him. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> as I said, most mechanics, the the AOE thingy will be a random player. The throw thingy will be a random player. He will teleport, so it wouldn't make sense to taunt him anyway, because he targets random players all the time. Okay, let's kill the Skeevers for now. Ignore the right side, um, because this is one of the optional bosses. And again, usually this boss isn't done in packs. But again, if you want to go for no death, if you want to go for speed run, you need to go this way. Um, there will be another additional boss. Um, is there actually an AoE taunt in the game? Or is there, no? there isn't an AoE taunt, you just have like AoE roots. And basically if you deal with um, bigger trash mobs, you want to use an AoE root. On a DK it would be something like Talons or whatever. Um, but you can't AoE taunt basically. Okay, we have the Crocodiles. Those are quite nasty. So the tank always needs to make sure to taunt the Crocodiles. Um, their tail swipes. Um, deal a lot of damage. I, I think we saw there like half your life or something, right? Hmm. But again, if you get targeted by them, run towards your tank and he will pull them off of you. Um, now this is the Red Whisperer, he's a kind of strange guy and um, basically he summons rats. That's his special ability, his special power. Okay, let's get out. Somewhat accurate. And um, basically yeah, oh, sorry, yeah. we have the AOE yeah. effect. <laughs> He will cast the AOE effect on the person who taunts him, so it should always land on the taunt, uh, on the tank. Um, it will explode and deal some damage, should be blockable, everyone else should stay out of it. From time to time he summons those rats, um, they can just be AOE down, they don't have a lot of health. Um, other than that, he probably does, I don't know, some melee attack or something, I guess, but <laughs> shouldn't be relevant if the tank holds um, his aggro and Make sure to block them, should be fine. Mm. Yeah, now we just finish all the skeevers basically. And uh, someone pulled more skeevers. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> could just avoid those, I think. But for the content, right? Yeah, for the content. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think there is a chest spawn location here, but not 100% sure, but it doesn't seem like we got one this run. Okay, there's a crocodile. Again, crocodiles are dangerous, so let the tank always take care of it. Oh. Oops. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I should have just stayed out of it. I mean, it's fairly obvious when he attacks, right, so I should just avoid it. Let's kill, let's ignore those for now. Let's ignore them for now. <laughs> okay, now we got more ads, and after those ads, we get the next boss fight. For next boss fight, he has mostly uh, melee attacks. I think he has like a spinning attack. Um, nothing too dangerous. One sp uh, specialty of him is his fear. He will fear one player, 
and again i said this dungeon is notorious for bugs um, this is one of them he can fear you through objects sometimes through the wall usually it doesn't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the most dangerous part are here are basically the stairs because he can definitely fear you through the stairs so you want to pull him down found find him on the ground and make sure that your back isn't towards um, the stairs or anything because it can be stuck so yeah this guy is the only reason i've had to use the duck command in games so far and i've had to use it like four or five times because every time he fears me and i get stuck in a wall behind that like one crate over here yeah <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous really in the archway if you like get feared and you run in it like reach you go i've had it happen so often that's so annoying yeah but yeah this dungeon is really notorious for a lot of those bugs um like next when we kill the boss we need to walk through a door there and as i said i mentioned in the beginning of the dungeon the crocodiles if you fight the crocodiles in the beginning there is a high chance that you can't use this door for like a minute or two minutes okay yeah that's what it causes yeah. as well. wow. <laughs> that's impressive yeah i guess they just got better at coding over time right yeah I mean, they never fixed this, <laughs> so I'm not sure if they got better. <laughs> they were like, nah. It's gone. Whenever it happens, we just go and fight the Rat Whisperer, and by the time we... And, like, sometimes it works off. Yeah, that's what I've noticed as well. Yeah. So you get you get stuck in the door, it doesn't work, and then you fight the Rat Whisperer, and it works. Yeah, but I think we should be safe. Let me see. Yeah, we're not in combat cons. Yeah, okay, so definitely. Um, then we already got next boss. This boss is also... Wait, are you saying something? I think you might. Oh, oh. Your, your connection's real dodgy. Yeah. Oh, it's back. Yeah, no, it's fine, I think. Uh, the boss doesn't have a lot. Um, I think he has like a random jump on a random member. He does like a heavy attack, which needs to be blocked by the tank. Um, this boss is also notorious. Um, as you can see, he's right now in the middle. Um, he starts on there's like a platform up in the air on the other side right and sometimes he gets stuck on the platform and he never jumps down um this is another <laughs> bug which is known <laughs> when this happens you hope that you don't have a full melee team and you need to fight him up on the platform but in this case he's staying in the middle so everything is fine oh there are I some have... some mud crabs here so you should probably kill those again you could just jump down straight and you could avoid the mud grabs um, but yeah again if you have randoms they probably just aggro them during the fight anyway so may as well clear them okay so yeah he has a jump i think the jump isn't range based so he can jump anytime i think the jump you can just block it if you want to be fancy you can dodge roll it um other than that the tank counts it um looks out for heavy attacks um basically the usual business right Yeah, the first time I did this dungeon on this character, obviously I was a tank and I didn't have a single ranged ability, so I just had to stand here while my <laughs> team slowly yeah. killed it, like, under level 15 anyway, like, plinking away at it with bows. Yeah. Oh, that thing hits a lot. Well, you can kind of still just ignore it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if this... What's this attack? This is probably a targets a random player, right? This code. I wasn't sure if it always targets the tank or not. But apparently it targets a random player. So, wanna block this? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are more skeevers, but you can ignore them. And the next room is also a little bit notorious for killing pucks. Because there are a lot of ads here. Nothing too dangerous, but if they all aggro the db right um it can be a little bit tricky again if you have trouble just hold block wait until the situation is under control okay okay technical difficulty here technical difficulty <laughs> as always <laughs> are we good to go or yeah no worries no worries Yeah, I wanted to show what happens if I rush ahead, but I didn't take too much echo. <laughs> so, yeah. But it can happen if too many ads focus you again. Just hold block, right? Until the tank um, has most of them or CCs them or whatever. Yeah, this 
pull is quite huge for a version 1 dungeon. Um, in version 2 dungeon of Wayrest, I think there are even more ads here. Yeah. Now we have a variety of skeevers and humanoid ads. You can just kill the skeevers first, or like we do right now, we just do it. one huge pull. You could even, if you want to be fancy, kill the ads in the hallway over there. Um, but yeah, let's, for the sake of the video, let's take it slow. Um, and yeah, just do it systematically. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you have randoms, you usually have the, the one occasional guy who just um, rushes ahead and pulls everything, right? So, so yeah. <laughs> the tanker. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're, it's usually the healer. If you're lucky, <laughs> it's an actual tank, yes. But <laughs> mostly it's a <laughs> DD. Really yeah, mostly it's a DD flagged as a tank, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Did they keep wrong? <laughs> Let's just keep going. Oh, yeah, we can just go ahead. Again, I think here you could technically also do a double pull. I think there are more ads in the hallway, but yeah, we get one. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> then let's go for <laughs> it, I guess. But yeah, if you don't have uh, that much damage, not that much defense, just take it pull by pull. Take it slowly. One thing you could do here is you could just rush to the other side, like I, let's, let me do it. Everyone else also, and you just stay at the stairs here, everything will be grouped. You'll drop your AOE. And, yeah. Watch them melt. Yeah, basically. I mean, you could do it in slow pulls, whatever you prefer, basically. into your execute yeah <laughs> just gets executed as well <laughs> i mean it happens sometimes <clears throat> more ads than we're by the by way at final boss Surprise, more ads. Um, <laughs> kill those guys. Um, as you can see, there are ads to the left side. Um, you can ads. just ignore them, they will won't take aggro. However, once again, if you're in a pack group and you fight the main boss, the main boss is quite dangerous in hard mode, so you will have people running around like headless chickens. So I would say, let's ca just kill the ads for now. Um, as I said, you could keep them alive, but just so we don't pull them during the fight, we kill them for now. Also, you can use this to charge your ultimate a little bit for the boss fight. yet because once again this is ray rest source one so we need to activate the scroll of glorious battle and this case is located over here so i can just activate it now hard mode more damage more health and usually this one so far is one of the easiest dungeons but this hard mode packs struggle quite a lot with the main boss here um, the main reason for this is his ambush ability um, and his spin ability. I mean, the spin ability is kind of predictable. It does like a short spin, it deals a lot of damage, so the decent healers should usually just stay out of it. 
Um, the most dangerous part is the ambush. Basically, he will jump at one player. That's why we probably want to surround him again, so we know, okay, he's jumping at me and not at somebody else. Um, the jump, I'm not quite sure. Can it be blocked? Um, I think it can be blocked, but it still deals a lot of damage. So if you want to be safe, he jumps on you. You can just dodge roll it. You can also ho uh, hold block, but maybe let's see what happens if you hold block. But yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a chest here if you want to. Oh, okay, then let's get the chest. <laughs> Where is it? Um, the top at the end. Or uh, no, it's in that corner. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, and then let's get the chest. Uh, in the meantime, for the boss, the ambush, he jumps, teleports on someone. If you don't block, if you don't dodge, um, you will be one-shotted. So that's usually where the pucks struggle. Um, other than that, this boss from time to time, I'm not sure if it's time-based or health-based. I think it's health-based, but yeah, bigger groups can burn through him faster. But yeah, from time to time, he will dissolve. Everyone will be ported in the middle, and then there will be like a big bat swarm spawning and um, the bat swarm you just aoe it down then the boss will respawn normally however as i said ray rust one is notorious for dungeons sometimes you kill the bats and he doesn't respawn don't panic it just takes like up to five minutes or something until he respawns um for this for this case if it happens it's handy if you have some bait with you because there is a fishing spot here so you can use the time to <laughs> to fish yeah uh, okay. okay let's see All if right. it happens but I, it's good to, i had that one happen to me too so it's good to know that you can have yeah. every single one possible yeah so yeah. not all hope is lost just be careful okay this was right. the, the thing you need to block or to dodge to jump there and i'm not sure did you try to block it or no i didn't even notice it happening i'm not gonna lie oh right. i barely see anything i think oh. i need glass oh, okay oh there we go this is happens when yep. you don't do anything <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah yes okay i will try to block it and just to see how much damage i take the safe bet is just dodge ruling backwards basically Oh, I got hit 11k, but I got another hit for 7k oh. right before that. That's what oh. happened. Wait. Yeah. Uh, when this happens, you? hold block or dodge roll. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's gonna be tricky. And now you see why pucks have a trouble with this. Um, yeah. Okay. Did you try to block or? And I didn't see it happen. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's why you want to oh. stay um, around the boss so in different angles basically so you always know he's jumping i mean the safest bet is when you see him disappear he's like teleporting right oh he's spawning nice when you see him teleport just hold block to make sure basically now block okay i took like a quarter of my health basically he followed up with a spin so i took another quarter of my health so yeah if you dodge wool you avoid the whole damage yeah, block should be okay. Oh, should be the safe. Uh, oh, oh, I stood there in the circle and the spin. Because I'm melee, I keep getting hit with the tank spin ability, mm. and then oh, the spin always right. also. Yeah, if you don't block the spin, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what's happening to me. I'm getting hit by the spin and the ambushes. yeah. The spin hits quite hard. It's also um, one of his yeah. most dangerous abilities, basically. One more reason never to be a melee DPS. <laughs> yeah. I mean, melees have it a little bit harder, right? Yeah. Okay, now we get more. Kind of said I would have liked if we had the actual bug where he doesn't respawn, but well. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised. So far, we didn't have any bugs. But the most bugs are really caused by. Um, running past some ads or something and don't killing them um, that's how most of those um, bugs actually happen right now we took our time we cleared everything or ignored the ads we don't need to kill so we get less bugs basically but you know in a pack someone is running through the dungeon echo everything try to skip and then that's where okay wow we saved like five seconds rushing past the ads there but now we wait like two minutes for a door to open or we have a oh, bus, right? Yeah. Oh, dodge oh, Nice, it's nice dodge roll. That was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dodge roll is the safest spec. 
Yeah, I want some mad skills there. <laughs> but oh, yeah. basically, uh, the thing is, he usually jumps and then he does also one of the spins. And if you block them, that's both together are probably like half your health or something. So a dodge roll is the more fancy and more safe um, way to avoid it, basically. And it's a oh. she. Now I dodge rolled. Oh. I didn't look that close, right? I mean, it's 2020, <laughs> right? So, uh, who am I to judge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> yeah, nice block there. Oh, oh, and that was the spin. <laughs> Should I just finish him? Yeah, probably, right? Yeah, yeah, it's just finish. I mean, as I said, with Pucks, this can be a very chaotic fight. If you have trouble um, to stabilize, you can always wait for the next bat phase, kill a few of the bats, keep like one or two bats alive, and then go for the resurrections. Um, this makes a life way easier on a Puck, basically. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, other than that, yeah, as I said, when the boss doesn't respawn, you can fish here. Um, <laughs> That's all you need to know. And yeah, this was Dungeons for Dummies. Um, May Rest was 1. Um, Matterrand is hard mode. Um, I hope you learned something and we will see us again in the next episode. So, bye bye.